rehash, you know, why not Jimmy? Why, why are we still waiting? Well, why? Uh, but there's no waiting as much as it is uh, 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 how and when we do something. Okay. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, the waiting term isn't a product of this process. Well, it's only uh, an issue in that sense, everybody that is going to go in there in the future is waiting. Well, it, it's only an issue because you, you said you were going to do it. Well, but uh, I, do you want me to say that I'm putting Michael Parsons in? I am. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that yet. Well, but wait. I, I'll say that it's likely I'll put Michael Parsons in. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, but, you, but you're projecting no, that he continues on the, on the thing. But, you, but once I'm Jimmy got in the Hall of Fame, you said, I'm part, putting him in the ring of honor. Yeah, well, the point is, uh, the point is, is uh, uh, that this isn't necessarily uh, because we're open for business at the Ring of Honor that there's some order of things when you start talking about timing. That's never been an idea or presented at all. There's a at all, okay. in any way, timing. And so uh, you, uh, would you agree with that? I would agree with what else that there's nothing that, that, that you been decide when you want to do it. Timing, timing is the important <laughs> yeah. uh, issue here. Well, in the in the past, and I don't mean to push back, but I know one reason when you said you didn't want to do it two years ago, you said it was about the Hall of Fame, and I want to let the Hall of Fame, you know, have its own year. Then this year, it wasn't you're doing it while you, he's going in the Hall of Fame and having a Hall of Fame ceremony. I'm doing a player this year, Demarcus. Okay. I, I don't mean to be crass with this follow-up question, but. You turned 81 in October. He turned 80 last month. You two aren't spring chickens. Is it important to you to have a moment on, on stage together? And is there any urgency with the nature of time to, to get it done soon? No, he's the youngest. He's the youngest 80-year-old you'll ever meet. <laughs> uh, I'm right behind him. And this thing doesn't run on an age meter. As a matter of fact, I would uh, go the other way if I thought we were uh, somebody was accusing us of trying to beat the clock. <laughs> Why was it so important to have a player? I'm not going to let the old man in. <laughs> Somebody's talking Eastwood. about himself. <laughs> right, yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm right. talking about myself, yeah. but hey, that's <laughs> pretty good. Right. Right. I'm yeah. not right. sure right. I want to <laughs> clarify. <Yeah. laughs> the other old man. There was something that would say some older Cowboys from the Landry years should probably be in as well. What do you say to that? Then? I think that's a possibility. I think that's a, uh, that is a distinct possibility. And that's not meant to try to be coy. It's just a real possibility. He he addressed a subject up there that is I see manifests itself at these uh, uh, gatherings of uh, the uh, NFL Hall of Fame uh, uh, inductees, and that is it really doesn't make any difference which time you were put in. You're in, and once you're in, you're a Hall of Famer. Think about that just a minute. You're a Hall of Famer. And if you want to go ahead and extend it, you've been a Hall of Famer all along. They just hadn't been recognized yet. And so that's live and well, I really, because there are a lot of guys in there that have been through several, with Paul Tagli uh, being one of them, not to point him out, but my goodness, Paul Tagli is as much a Hall of Fame as, as uh, Pete Rosell. So my point is that that timing thing is a little more than it should be in my mind in this in this timing thing. Uh, uh, but I will say this: uh, it's got a lot of questions being asked. Period. Period. It does keep it interesting. Right. Doesn't it? He, he was talking about it. Thank you. Thank you. Give us something to talk about. <laughs> if if it had happened five years ago, would we have a question about it today? We'd be talking, about somebody, we're talking, about, somebody we're talking about somebody else. We're talking about somebody else. We're talking about somebody else. And I'm not. I am. You always keep us talking. Someone. But uh, still, the point is that I am proud. By the way, I, I have done uh, what Tex asked me to do, and he said, uh, keep it very relevant to be in there. Keep it important to be in there. Don't uh, don't overnumber it, and make sure that you're really satisfied that they've made a major contribution to the franchise itself, not just uh, the, how great they were on the field, but to the franchise itself. Jerry, how much? So uh, um, I really took, take that to heart. Jerry, how much do you also? Communicate with the player for their timing, for example, someone like Jason Witten, is that something you coordinate with him and no. potentially with him no. That? no, that's a good question, but no, not at all. And uh, uh, 
you know, we'll, uh, uh, we'll make do if something should come up and a uh, mm -hmm. player, a person like Jason Whitten, uh, we'll, we'll find his timeline. Do you, you give Jimmy at all a notice, like, hey, we're inducting someone to the Ring of Honor this year? I, is don't, it you? I don't give any notice to, to any, uh, no one knows until they announce it. No one. That's part of it. All right, we got to go. We got to roll. Thanks, everybody. Thank yep. You. Thank you.